Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we present you 50 beautiful retro historical photos. We hope you will appreciate our work. Write your comment and click the subscribe button. Enjoy the show and here we go. Enchanting Samantha Fox at a photo shoot in a red bikini, 1987. Marissa Mathis is a model and social media personality. Photo from 1962. Summer 1914. Penn's second varsity crew team in Poughkeepsie. Rowers at the boathouse. Circa 1906. Mobile, Alabama Government Street. Look out, kids, it's the Detroit publishing photographer. July 1943. Rockville, Maryland vicinity. Private Harvey Horton visiting the NC Styles Dairy Farm while on furlough from Fort Belvoir, Virginia, at dinner with the family. Washington, D.C., 1922. Fire layout answering the fire bell. September 1954. Photographs show actor Gary Cooper at home in California with wife Veronica and daughter Maria, and on patio smoking pipe. Washington, D.C., 1922. Fire layout answering the fire bell the second installment of this thrilling series. My younger brother, riding his new bike. Our street was a cul-de-sac in Walnut, California. This was probably around 1968. It was a good place for kids to explore the nearby hills. We learned to ride bikes spend weekend mornings hiking the hills, and staying away from our parents. August 5, 1959. Russians looking at television sets and radios at the USSR exhibition in Sokolniki Park, Moscow, next to the American National Exhibition. Nineteen oh four. Fisher Schooners at T. Wharf, Boston. George H. Libby at left. I purchased this 8x10 print at the swap meet. On the back is printed, Mr. and Mrs. Cliff McCorkle, proprietors of the 101 Broadway Pharmacy, Richmond, California, getting an order ready for delivery. November 5th, 1957. Boston circa 1905. Scale Square Station. Drugstore sodas 5 cents. None better. Washington, D.C. Flood. April 30th, 1923. Also some 91-year-old graffiti. EHLTD. September 4th, 
1924. The future Norma Desmond Shipboard in New York. Now where'd we put our close-up lens? February 1943. Moreno Valley, Colfax County, New Mexico. Dinner time on George Mutz's ranch. Our fourth visit with various members of the Mutz family. September 1941. Main Street of Old Mining Town. Leadville, Colorado. Washington, D.C., circa 1922. Automobile accident recreation with miniature cars. Go directly to jail. Circa 1905. Carnegie Steel Plant, Homestead, Pennsylvania. February 19, 1949. Lamont Library, Harvard University, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Fifth level reading room. Coolidge, Shepley, Bullfinch Abbott, architect. August 1933. Washington, D.C. Crescent Limited train wreck. Washington, August 25, 1933 While thousands worked to overcome the havoc wreaked by the storm in the capital, 300 train men struggled with the wreck of the Crescent Limited. The crack extra fare express was hurtled yesterday from the tracks of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Lasses and Grasses circa 1920s Nelson District, New Zealand Row of young women, music hall dancers in costume, standing barefoot in dance pose, wearing headbands, long strings of beads, Hawaiian hula-style grass skirts and anklets. October 1935. Washington, D.C. Capital Transit Buses, F and 13th SDSNW. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Circa 1904. North Veranda, Manhasset House, Shelter Island, New York. Nineteen oh four. Under the Great Oak, Manhasset Manor, Shelter Island, New York. Washington, D.C., or vicinity. Flooding. Aftermath of the Chesapeake Potomac. Hurricane of August 1933. Who can locate this waterlogged crossroads with good shop, hot dogs going for a nickel? Linda Carter is an American actress and singer, 1974. February 1943. Moreno Valley, New Mexico. William Heck Ranch. Mrs. Heck getting supper.
June 1906. Ariel Mountaineer, New York to San Francisco and back. Percy McGargle and David Fassett on 162nd Street in the Bronx at the end of their 10-month. 11,000-mile trip in a 16-horsepower Ario Ransom E. Olds Touring Car. New York or vicinity circa 1921. Byron on Boat. The actor Arthur Byron and Family. Nineteen forty one. Free coffee served at the picnic grounds on the fourth of July at Vale, Oregon. Nineteen forty two. Washington, DC. A Sunday picnic in Rock Creek Park. Mr. Cliff McCorkle, proprietor and pharmacist of the 101 Broadway Pharmacy, Richmond, California, preparing a prescription. November 5, 1957. July 1941. Fun at the Water Fountain. Fourth of July picnic in Vail, Oregon. Circa 1904. The Churchill House. No location given, but neighboring images in the sequence were taken in Vermont. 1905. Circa 1905. Ohio River Levee at Louisville, Kentucky. Note the U.S. Life Saving Station. Nineteen oh two, the Basin Lower Spring, Banff, Alberta, a Banff Spring, without the hotel usually appended to that phrase. June 1914. Wisconsin Varsity Crew on the Hudson. Souvenir from the heyday of the Poughkeepsie Regatta. Nineteen forty two. Melbourne, Australia. Beaufort Torpedo Bomber Final Assembly Plant. Airplane check. Guy in plane check. September 17, 1935. These two 150 foot tall brick smokestacks on the mall in Washington, D.C., were considered an eyesore and ordered demolished. They were erected when a central heating plant occupied the site circa 1900. C.S. Jackson Group on Dudley Walker's porch. 1900. Washington, D.C., circa 1921. Adams Iron Building, F Street. Its fairest nature echoed in the sidewalk of many manholes.
an uncaptioned photo taken by Marion Post Walcott in September 1941 whose neighbors show bean threshing activities in the North Platte River Valley of Nebraska. So we'll call these guys the Legume Brothers. This uncaptioned 5 by 7 glass negative from the Detroit Publishing Archive looks to be far afield from that company's usual stomping grounds. Where in the world are we? August 21st, 1924. New York. C.G. Dawes. Charles G. Dawes, some two months away from being elected Vice President of the United States. His platform, Helping the Little Man. March 1943. Fort Madison, Iowa. Shopton Locomotive Shops of the Atchison, Topeka Santa Fe Railroad. New York, 1917. The American soprano Marsha Van Dresser, who participated in war bond and patriotic programs at the Metropolitan Opera. Nineteen oh four. Nelson House, Poughkeepsie, New York. Bonus photo for you, a beautiful retro woman. Debbie Ashby, former English glamour model, 1988. This is the end of our performance. We hope you enjoyed it and appreciate our work. See you in the next performance. Have a good day.